So what's up guys, the James DTV here. Um, sorry this is all shaky, I'm filming this with my iPhone. So, you guys remember I used to just have a school Chromebook, that's it, right? And that's how I'd edit my videos. Well, this is not a school computer, this is my personal computer. 32 gigabyte storage, um, yeah. It's an Evo laptop, it's 10.1 inch screen, not bad. I might actually just get an external monitor for it. It does have mini HDMI, which I've actually never seen before. But yeah, I got my Bluetooth keyboard hooked up to it. I got my mouse. I got my nice Tesla wallpaper. I got Spotify and iTunes put on it. So because of iTunes, well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just not going to get up and grab my iPad at the moment. But yeah, I got my iPad fixed. Um, yeah, I got my speakers right here, but I'm using my Bluetooth one because I have the um, computer charging right now. But yeah, it is pretty cool. So this is what I'm going to be editing my videos on. Um, Here's Lightworks. This is a um, video editing software that I'm going to start using to edit my videos. No more Wii Video. Um, we are actually using this now. Um, yeah. So I was going to work on this dual booting iOS 9.3.5 and 6.1.3, but I ran into some issues. So that video is going to be delayed. Um, so the, the video that should be coming out is this, the one about this computer. So honestly, I don't even think this has upgradable storage or anything. I don't think I could put a better SSD in it. I think I'm stuck with 32 gigs. Unless I put an external SSD in it, I'm good. I'm good if I put, I would be better if I put an external one in here. I'm probably gonna actually get one of those um, USB hubs that gives you like multiple 3.0 ports. So I can actually plug a little bit more things into it and I can actually use the external SSD. But I am actually going to try to get a monitor for this, so I don't have to just use it as a laptop with a freaking keyboard and everything, because that's how I've been using the Chromebook. I'm going to have it almost like as if it's a PC. And then I'll probably figure out how to get the hub attached to the bottom of the monitor. It'll be pretty cool. And I'll have to find a spot to put this while I'm using the, the, um, the monitor with this. Yeah, I got my iPad keyboard. This is going to be replaced. I may actually try to find a nice gaming keyboard, an RGB one. Same with the mouse. The, these two are going. These are going to be just backups. This might actually just go back to being used on my iPad. I might not even use this anymore. I might either sell it or just use it on my iPad. This I'll have as a backup just in case something happens to my better mouse that I'll get for it. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a USB hub for this. Get the display hooked up and everything once I get a display. And it'll be basically a PC. Now I gotta get a cheap 128 gigabyte mini SSD that will always have to be plugged into it. But yeah, this is how I'm gonna be editing my videos. I know I probably said something in one of my old videos about getting a MacBook Pro from 2012. That was gonna be too expensive. I got this for 20 bucks from a friend. So it works and everything. Um, yeah, it's not bad, honestly. It is kind of slow, like as you can see that long delay. Now we're gonna try opening Google Chrome. I do have Streamlabs on here, so if I want to, like, you know, do a stream, I can use my computer. It does have a 0.3 megapixel front camera, so I'm going to buy an external webcam. Besides, I was already going to get an external webcam if I was going to get the monitor. So, um, yeah. It does have a really high-res screen. You just can't really see it because I'm filming in 720p on this phone. But, yeah, I do have, like, my Google Chrome and everything. I got my dark mode. Honestly, the, the thing that took the longest to install, I think, was um, iTunes. I did have to reset this when I got it. Um, it, was, it, was, it still had my friend's stuff on it, so I had to go in, reset it. That took an hour and a half to do because it had to erase everything, then reinstall I, I mean Windows 10. I almost said iOS 10. You see, I've been using Apple devices too long, but I've actually never had my own device that runs Windows 10. I've used Windows 10. It's not bad. I've also got Spotify iTunes will not want to play my music. I have three U tools on here that's helping me, you know, with my iPad. I am trying to find a way to where I can hook this up to here and use it. But yeah, as you can see, I got Spotify. I got Spotify going. Yeah, you can see I'm right there. Um, yeah, we got this lovely wait time. Um, I don't think you can upgrade the RAM in this thing, but that's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I do have premium for a while. Um, I don't think I'm going to have it for long. Yeah, um, I have my music. Oh, and I also have the, um, I also have this, the Dank Pods music. So this is what he used for the freaking headphone test. Hold on, it's going to play. Here it 
Here's Scarlet Fire. Yes. Oh, whoops, I've seen the wrong one. You can hear that? Oh. Yeah, I love Spotify, honestly. Spotify doesn't... Spotify's running pretty smoothly. Um, yeah, ignore that song title. That's about Lil Barnacle, okay? Um, Lil Barnacle's funny. Uh, here's Fallen Angels by, um, Daz Gaz Dom 3, if it wants to play. See, it's playing. Now we're gonna try the external ones. Let me just unplug the... Oh, dear God. This computer was originally 160 bucks at Walmart. That sounds so much better coming out of this. I'm only gonna use it with this. Yeah, overall, my opinion on this computer is it's not bad. It's actually really good. It's better than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna kind of, you know, not be so good, but it's great. It works wonderful for me. Sure, it is a little slow loading things, but hey, that's, that's a small price to pay for for a, a $20 laptop. That's the only issue with it is it's a little slow. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Peace.